Make Taxes Work for Women is a campaign that I wholeheartedly support. As the visionary leader Kwame Nkrumah once said, freedom is not something that one people can bestow on another as a gift. They claim it as their own and none can keep it from them. For too long, half of humanity has been excluded from the decisions that shape our economies and societies. But as the African proverb teaches us, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We cannot build a just and prosperous world if we leave women behind. That is why I'm here to support the crucial campaign to make taxes work for women. With 3.9 billion women on this planet, no tax policy, whether national or international, can succeed without putting women at the center. The recent UN resolution championed by the African group to reimagine international tax cooperation is a momentous opportunity we must seize. As Nkrumah told us a long time ago, we face neither east nor west, we face forward. Let us face forward to a future where women's voices ring loud and clear in the halls of tax policy making. Now, as the terms of reference are drafted for this new era of tax governance, women's demands must be non-negotiable. We need gender impact assessments of all tax policies. We need tax revenues earmarked for programs that lift up women and girls. We need tax incentives that empower women entrepreneurs. We need a crackdown on the tax abuses that rob women of vital public services. And we need equal representation of women at every decision-making table. Critically, we must overhaul outdated international tax rules that fail women. We need to end tax competition between countries that slashes revenue for the public services women rely on most. We must close tax havens that enable corporations to dodge taxes and drain resources from the global south. We need stronger tax cooperation agreements between countries to help them mobilize domestic resources to fund gender equality. And we must make sure new global tax rules on the digital economy work for women in the informal sector and redistribute wealth to the women who need it most. Now, to secure this future, key tax principles must be at the center of our demands. We need progressive taxation that ensures the wealthiest individuals and corporations pay their fair share. We need gender responsive budgeting that directs tax revenues to programs benefiting women and girls. We need participatory tax policy making that includes women's voices at every level. We need simplified tax systems that work for women in the informal economy. And we need a global minimum corporate tax rate to end the race to the bottom that starves countries of revenues for women's rights. So when women speak, listen. And to my sisters leading feminist movements, to the women on the front lines of economic injustice, to the girls dreaming of a brighter future, your voices must be the center of this new global tax system. We cannot stop until international tax rules work for women burdened by unfair taxes as she strives to feed her family. For the girl denied an education when corporate tax dodging starves her school of funding. And for the mother who needs quality health care funded by tax revenues. The forces that unite us are intrinsic and greater than the superimposed influences that keep us apart. Let tax justice be the force that unites us, women and men. Rich and poor, North and South, to claim our common freedom and a world of shared prosperity. I am Leila Latif and I support the campaign to make taxes work for women.